Hey Glams, it's your host again, Tanya with The Glam Life, where I'll be providing complete beauty tips, techniques, and testimonials to reveal the glam in you. If you are new to this channel, please click that red subscribe button below. And once again, thank you to all my returning viewers, subscribers, as well as followers. Back again with another video with a continuation of this lift retention challenge. I started it back on December the 1st, 2019 correction 2018 and i'm going all the way through march the 1st 2019 and i recently did a one month lift check and i want to have that video in the description box below on how my hair was able to retain length from january uh, december the 1st 2018 through january the 1st 2019 so i feel another way to retain length to the hair is moisture moisture is very important i have some previous videos that i'm going to have in the description box on my different kind of conditioners that i use to moisturize the hair now tonight i'm doing like an unready just got off from work so if you all notice my nose i have the nose imprints i wear glasses during the uh daytime i do a lot of um stuff on the computer which uh, which requires me to wear glasses for the reading so excuse my makeup in the nose but the makeup that i am wearing is the rimmel um london uh, Cos uh foundation um i have it in the um shade mocha and i have the matte as well as the 25 hour breathable foundation i'm going to have um an upcoming video on my thoughts about those products but comment in the description box and tell me what you think this is actually me going on about 12 hours worth of wear now one of the foundation states that you can get 25 hours worth of wear out of it but um, this is um 12 and just give me your thoughts so without further ado let's go on and get started now the grease that i'm going to be featuring tonight is going to be the uh, tcb hair and scalp conditioner and i love 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 this product as you all see i have dove in it tremendously um, love this. I use this on my scalp as well as on um, down the hair shaft to seal in the moisture. And the moisturizer that I'm using is just a simple um, moisturizer. It's not a conditioner. It's a hair lotion. And it's in the um, Africa's Best Olive Oil Moisturizing Growth Lotion. Now, the reason why I picked this up, it says um, growth. And that's one thing that I'm trying to um, test out over the next, you know, two months or so to see the different products that I using my hair will it help me retain some form of length so um i wear uniform to work and require to keep our hair somewhat off the collar so i have my hair pretty much up and um i'm just going to pretty much just work my um hair down uh straight and look at this glams i'm loving this length um i credit it just to you me just doing the basic um nothing hard you know just taking extra care of your hair, making sure your hair is moisturized, making sure you're sealing in that moisture. Um, kind of like changing your diet. I've been on also a no meat, no sweets um, type of diet. Um, started. I also started that January the 2nd. And I've seen a difference for as my body is concerned. Um, for as hair wise, I wanna see overall once the, um, the challenge is complete to see how my hair was able to grow overall. But overall glams i am loving this length um the density of my hair i must also say that it has improved as well and um another thing that i also have been taking is the hair vitamins i have been using the nature's bounty um hair and uh skin gummies and i have been loving those um number one they do taste like candy so like i had a disclaimer before if you do have small children please do not leave those gummies in though in the precious children's reach because they will think that it is candy and i must say that i credit that to me getting some of the density back in my hair so enough with with that i'm just pretty much going through and i'm just um gonna just uh twist my hair and moisturize it at the same time so i'm just gonna take again my hair grease and you all know that i love oil in my scalp I also have been using the um, softy um, hair hair growth oil on the scalp as well as the down the hair shaft. But for me, I must always, always, always going back to the hair greases. So just pretty much um, just going through and untangling any type of strands, any type of um, shed hair that may have gotten caught and i'm just like i stated going in with this africa's best um, moisturizer um, as you all know i don't use a whole lot of expensive um, products in my hair and 
I kind of want to showcase this as well. You don't have to have the best thing to get the best results. I think it's if you're just consistent in what you do and use, you know, be consistent in the type of, you know, whatever you do with your hair, whether you, if you use hair grease, be consistent in washing it out. If you are on the curly go uh, frilly method, be consistent in what you, in what you do, you are doing. I think that you can achieve the maximum results, no matter what kind of product you're using on your hair. And I'm just um, pretty much going down the hair shaft and just applying that moisturizer because again hair needs moisture glams but the added benefit with these greases is that I don't have to moisturize my hair as much but um hair does need moisture and as you all see I'm just going right through just trying to get out any shed hair just being very very gentle very very gentle hold on I Miss separated the um the hair, I believe. Okay, yes, I did. I try to keep my parts the same. So I'm just gonna take some grease now because I applied that moisture. And um, one thing I do like about this grease is that it starts out hard, but as you you know work it in, it becomes like a soft type oil. So if you are wanting to try the hair greases and you don't want something that is as heavy. That is a good one as well as the softy hair greases. Now, we are in the winter months and I must admit that my hair as well as my skin does get a little bit more drier. So I do recommend using, you know, the Blue Magic hair greases in the winter months because they are just a little bit more um, heavier and, you know, retaining that moisture. So that's pretty much twist number one. And I'm just going on to another section of hair all right so I'm just gonna take my hair grease all this scalp all the scalp again I love these um all on my scalp it just feels so cool and oh my gosh um, invigorating with just putting it on there taking a little bit of this um, hair moisturizing lotion and just applying down the hair shaft again just want to get it in and go down that hair shaft really really good and this again glam just being consistent um, that's I think is key when you are um, dealing with just hair period you know just be consistent in what in what you're doing and you'll begin to see those results and that's one of the things i have noticed since i have been with this um with this lymph retention challenge is that i just been a little bit more consistent on how i overall care for my hair and i'm just loving 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 these results and So taking some more grease, just going down the scalp. And one also too, I like uh, oiling my scalp is that when my scalp feels inflamed or whatever, and even when I'm a little bit stressed, I just go in and just lightly put that scalp um, hair grease on my scalp. And it's just like a stress reliever as well. To me it is, you know, it's just like a, oh, a stress reliever, which, um, I love and when I grease my um, daughter's hair she'll just fall right to sleep she'll sit in the chair um, especially if it's like late and she had a long day we just got off the golf course or whatever and I come home and I moisturize that hair while I'm doing it she'll sit in the chair and just fall right to sleep so I'm just going through and just untangling you all see I had to have you know a few tangles and I don't moisturize my hair every day because you know again I am using the hair greases, which allows for me to um, be able to um, wear my hair a whole lot longer without, you know, worrying about um, moisture, um, adding the moisture back to my hair. And look at that length. I mean, I must accredit what I'm doing with these uh, growth results um, glams 
I'm just completely amazed. So that's pretty much it. Uh, me going through moisturizing my hair. I'm just I'm just trying to do the front to kind of like so you all can see you know how I go in and I do it. And nothing um, fancy. Just go in and just oil my scalp and. And just take some hair growth lotion. I still have a little bit of the um, growth lotion and just going down the hair shaft. And as you all see, my hair is pretty much still in its sections. I don't go through and just completely untwist my hair. I kind of like keep them in sections so over time it would just get bigger and bigger. So for me, day three or four hair works so much better than, you know, day one or two hair. Because it's, you know, so much bigger, so much looser, and it's not as defined. All right, so taking this section right here. I love the hair greases, Glam. I know some might think I'm heavy-handed, but it has worked so well for me that I can't go back. I I won't go back. Can't go back. And just take this hair growth lotion, go down the um down the hair shaft. And as you all see I'm just separating, you know, the section of hair just to get out any shed hair. And I say that a lot because, you know, some naturals portray like their hair does not shed. And I like to portray that, yes, your hair does shed. You know, you, I mean, when these naturals are going through, you know, they are, you know, pulling out, you know, shed hair, um, believe it or not. Um, there's some, there's some, I know some like to portray as if, you know, it looks like they're not shedding any hair. Um, all hair does shed, you know, so I like to shed light on that. If you don't detangle your hair every day, and you go and detangle it on Thursday, look, you're going to have some form of shed hair. You are. glam so I just got finished on um, the back part was a little bit more difficult because it got um, I guess matted on today's course but this is just pretty much how it is I went in and I moisturized my hair um, and sealed it in with my lovely hair grease I just picked up this bottle of moisturizer the um, Africa's best um, or original um, originals olive oil moisturizing growth lotion I mainly picked it up because it said emphasis of growth on the bottle and I just sealed it all in with my um, TCB um, olive oil um, hair grease. So comment below on if you have been following me on this lymph retention challenge, how have your results um, been panning out. And until then, I will see you next time, Glams. Be blessed and be glamorous. <laughs>